welcome to another video of Ward PLS video series. In the initial videos, we are talking about some of the important concepts that we need to understand before we start using Ward PLS for our data analysis. In this video, we will talk about what is structural equation modeling, which is usually known as SEM. And uh, we'll mainly focus on the two types of SEM, which is covariance based SEM and partial least square SEM. So let's just briefly talk about what is structural equation modeling or SEM. Structural equation modeling is a multivariate analysis technique that is used to analyze structural relationships, relationship between different constructs. Now, this technique is a combination of factor analysis and multiple regression and is used to analyze the structural relationship between measured variable and the latent, uh, the latent constructs. One of the best things about the software is that it uses a single analysis to measure uh, the structural as well as the factor analysis. So this method is usually preferred by the researchers because it estimates the multiple and the interrelated dependence in a single analysis. Because if you're using some other uh, softwares like uh, especially SPSS, you have to perform these analysis separately and they do not give you that rigorous results. So using Ward PLS and using this SEM uh, technique can give you very rigorous and very accurate results. Now, when we talk about the two uh, types of SEM, uh, mostly, the covariance based and the partial least squares are used. So let's just talk about some of their uh, differences. When we talk about partial least square and covariance based SEM, these are a few differences. For example, in the PLS SEM, the non parametric tests are performed. Uh, non parametric tests are performed on the data which is not required to be normal. But on the other hand, if you talk about covariance based SEM, CB SEM, the parametric tests are applied, which is why the normality of the data is the assumption, is the essential assumption. So uh, the CB SEM cannot take uh, the non-normal data for the analysis, but in the PLSM, you can use the non-normal data uh, and in our social sciences research, most of the times we have a data which is not no, uh, normal. So PLSM can be one of the best techniques. Now in the PLSM, uh, it's not a very strict requirement that you need to have a lot of uh, sample size and there are some other demands. So PLSM does not require or does not demand much about uh, your sample size and other sampling issues. But if you talk about uh, the covariance based SEM, it requires a lot of demands related to your sample. And then uh, PLSM can be used for less sample size. For example, uh, sometimes you don't get enough sample to use uh, CBSM, so you can always use this PLSM. Uh, as we've already talked about, CBSM requires uh, a lot of uh, sample uh, size. And then uh, PLSM can be applied to very, very complex models. As we've already talked about in one of our videos, that it can take into account any number of mediations, sequential mediations. Although CBSM can also take into account these uh, complex models, but uh, the modern softwares of uh, uh, PLSM have uh, more powerful tools to take care of your mediators and the moderators. Now, a very important uh, and a unique feature in PLSM and especially the WAR PLS is that it can handle the reflective and formative constructs at the same time. But here in the CBSM, uh, the software uh, usually cannot handle the formative and the reflective construct at the same time. Uh, if, if you do not understand the difference between reflective and formative constructs, I encourage that you watch one of the videos in the same playlist. Uh, maybe one or two uh, videos before this video. Uh, then we, uh, in the PLSM, 
it is usually used for uh, theory development and hypothesis testing. But here, CLISEM is mostly used for uh, the already established theories, uh, but just for the hypothesis testing. Uh, PLSM also gave us the option of bootstrapping. But here in the CBSM, you do not get any option of bootstrapping. Uh, most famous uh, softwares that use PLS uh, SEM are the Warp PLS and the Smart PLS. But in the CBSM, usually the MOS software is used. So these are some of the differences between uh, the PLS SEM and the covariance based SEM. In the Warp PLS, we will be using the PLSM model, which has a lot less restrictions and a lot less demands as compared to CBSM model. So you need to uh, further enhance your concepts and study about these things if you do not uh, already understand these things. Because when we'll be using Ward PLS, you will be uh, needing these concepts. So for this video, thank you very much. We'll uh, meet in some new videos with more concepts. And now we'll be moving towards our uh, data analysis using Ward PLS. Thank you very much.